My hair is out of control. It's like, I don't know. Now it's growing again. I just had it cut a couple weeks ago. Now it's growing again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. This is JLJ this morning. Yeah, I'm crossing out a couple of things I did. I did some stuff this morning, posted some things, have my coffee. Mm. Yummy. Um, I was thinking about social media. I'm on it every day. Most of you are on it every day, too. I have a few folks who are not on it. They must be think they're smart. I'm on it all the time. I was asking a question to myself. I wonder if social media is still fun or is it a habit? Is going on social media a fun thing to do or is it just a habit that we have formed? I know for me, I'm rarely on social media for fun. I'm on there to post, I'm a content creator, I'm promoting my content. <clears throat> I try to scroll if I can to other content creator friends of mine, post their stuff, share their stuff, like it. If you look on my pages, I'm always sharing people's stuff. I try to see what they're doing and promote it. I have an audience, some of my folks would like it. But to simply just go on to like, for fun and not posting just like for fun and scroll and see what's going on. I say probably once a month, maybe twice. I've had to tell people, if you want me to see something specifically, you have to DM me, PM me, send, send to me directly. Cause I just, I just, so I'm not going to see it. Um, I just don't do that. Um, I, uh, I'm too busy. I mean, I don't have, I don't have like the, the time when I do a lot of, well, here's the thing. When I do a lot of traveling, it's easier to scroll for fun. When I take the train every morning, go to work or, or whatever, go to work. They when I just go to after buzz, I had a lot of time on there, but I don't, I don't do that anymore. Most of the stuff's at home. Um, and when I get a chance to go on, it's me trying to post something that I'm doing. Um, well, I guess the one, the one place is probably fun, seemingly fun, is TikTok. It seems that a lot of people are enjoying TikTok and really liking it. And I, I post on there too, but I do scroll a little more on there than anywhere else to see something that could be interesting. Um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Facebook, I'm totally, I have to remind myself to go on there. Even when I'm trying to post, I'm like, oh yeah, I go on Facebook too. Facebook still has some value. I have to remind myself that. Instagram and Twitter, of course, take over my life. Instagram is first and Twitter is second. Now, I have, since last year, started to practice the meditation in the morning. And I've learned to not go straight onto the social media. You know, folks, you wake up, you roll over, grab your phone, hit my, my phone, my phone, and you automatically start scrolling. And you start, you start pushing it in. And you're like, what's this? Um, and, you know, I tried to do that. I have put myself away from that and said, okay, no, James, go do other stuff, you know, go take a dump, whatever, go brush your teeth, wash your face, do all that stuff, go out in the garden for a minute, then go on to the social media platforms. Look around. It's tough, folks. It is, it is. It's partially a habit for me, I notice, um, to have to go on. I wonder if you guys out there, if it's the same thing, where are you just, at this point, it's just part of your life. It's so weird, right? Like, it's just, it's just a party. It's like, we just, I mean, it's, we're nosy. We'll see what's going on in the world. You just like turn, I remember in the old days, I had friends who would come home and always turn on the TV. And it was background noise until they actually watched something, but they had to have a TV on while they're getting home and they're breaking down the clothes, taking the clothes off and changing into play clothes and um, making dinner. But the TV had to be on. Other folks like myself used to put on music. When I was in my house, I would turn on my music and just go to town and have it in the background. I'm doing stuff, getting ready. But now it's like, is this the same thing? Will you just automatically, it's just, it's, it's right on your fingertips. It's always on. Because I was, I was laughing because I have, um, I do a lot of things through email. 
And I'm finding the last year or so, people's email habits. Everybody emails, everybody, everybody's different when it comes to email. And um, I've, some people have told me they never check their emails. I'm like, well, how do you get jobs? If you're in the business, like especially in the entertainment business, everything is done through email and or text. Um, it just is. So how do you not, if you're looking for jobs, how do you not look at your emails? Or some folks, all day, they'll go on email. They go on email at night. And I'll notice it. I'll, and I usually people, I try to give people a chance, but I don't hear from them. The next morning, I'll wake up to a bunch of emails of responses to stuff. So I give people a couple of days. And I'll go, okay, you know, a couple of days, we'll get, well, they'll, they'll get, they will get back to me. It will, it'll be fine. They'll get back to me at night. Or I was like, you have to tell me to go check my email. Really? So I have to type, I have to type and send you a text to go check it. And I said, I can't do it all the time. I can try to remember. I got 10 million people I send emails to. I can't remember all the time. So I've had to learn, same with social media, same with everything. You see, you see, you don't, you don't. My role has to keep focused, keep going forward. I have to keep moving forward. I have schedules. I have things. I have irons and fire. I have stuff going on. I have to stay focused, keep it moving. And either you get left behind or, you, or you're with me. I just, I mean, I have people answer emails to me like two weeks later, three weeks later. I'm like, that project's done. You didn't get any, I didn't hear from you. There are folks where even with texting, they're the same thing. You think your phone's always on you. There are folks who don't get back to your text. But when I'm with you, you're on your phone all the time. So I don't understand that either. So I, 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 this whole technology at our fingertips thing is very, very, very interesting. But I think it's mostly it's habits, fear of missing out, uh, all those different things that go on, right? With the stuff, it's, it's a, I don't know. It's like it's a trip. There have been days where I'm barely on social media. On my time off, I take some time off. I barely go on. I have no problem with that. I don't miss it. Um, when I'm posting, I'm on there all the time. All the time. I wonder if I didn't have this job, would I be on there? I wonder what my approach would be if I wasn't, if I didn't have this kind of, I wasn't in the business, I was always posting stuff, I was a content creator. I wonder what would happen. Like, would I go on that very often? I have a couple of friends who are not on social media at all. I had a friend who just passed away. He's not on social media. He was kind of, but not really. You know, and also, and also seeing on social media, it's really weird because you see people posting what they're doing and you're like, you haven't called me in a long time. Or I have a couple of friends who hang out with everybody else. Don't hang out with me anymore. Like, oops, do do do. Like, I try to get together with you and, and I get crickets. Or yeah, we'll get together someday. Yeah, let's work that out. And none. But you're hanging out with this person, that person. Now, sometimes I admit this for me, it's proximity. LA is so spread out. If they live closer to you, a lot of times you just get together. It's easier to get together if you live far apart. But, even, but every once in a while, you're just like, yeah, we're supposed to be good friends and I want to see you. And I've been trying to get together with you. Um, and I have one set of friends, I think. They may have got mad at me or whatever, or just would scorn at me because I couldn't go to this one big celebration thing. I couldn't go. I was working. I couldn't go. Um, and uh, and I said I can't go, but I have a gift for this person. I want to see you guys separately. You know, I'm not, I'm not into big groups anyway. I'm like this COVID thing. People don't understand that COVID thing. We're all reacting in our different ways, and I'm not ready for big group gatherings again. But I'm like, I'd love to see you guys separately. Nope, crickets. I haven't heard anything since that was months ago. So I just let it go. Um, I just talked to a friend of mine I haven't talked to in months, like months. We've, we, we message here and there. We see each other online. But we actually had a wonderful FaceTime. And I'm like, and I guess, and I'm learning that's it sometimes. Sometimes that's how it is right now. For some people, it is the occasional talk. It doesn't mean they don't care about you any less or anything like that. It's, just, it's like they just, their lives are a certain way. I know my life's a certain way. I get invited. I got invited to eight things on Saturday, and I couldn't go to any of them. I had to work. I had to work. Uh, it's like I'm I'm running two companies. I'm trying to build both my businesses. I can't. I don't. I have to work first. Play comes later. Uh, I have a lot. I work by myself. And a lot of folks don't understand that. They don't know what I'm doing day to day because I don't tell people. 
I don't tell me what I'm doing. I just, I just get stuff done. People always say, how do you get stuff done? Well, a lot of times it's not me hanging out with people and going to, to things because I'm busy at home trying to get stuff done. <laughs> Yeah, this this isn't glamorous at all. This is not a glamorous life. This is not glamorous. I'm just like, this is, it's a lot of work. And, I, and I'm doing it myself. I got a few folks helping me out here and there, but it's still me. I make the final decisions. I have a vision and a plan. And that's it. Like, sorry, folks. I, if I can't meet up for brunch or to go to a, to a dinner, hang out with people who are famous, I just, I just can't. I got things. I got... And I just I have to do it because no one else, no one's gonna do it for me. No one's gonna come and say, James, I'll handle that for you. You go out tonight. I'm single, I'm by myself, I don't have anybody making me dinner or taking me out. It's just I I do everything myself. Everything. Everything is completely on James Lodge Jr. I have to take care of my house, take care of my stuff, take care of my businesses. There's nobody help me like that. And I got a few folks here and there, like I said, doing little. Uh, jobs for me. I had a video just made and the, the songs like that. But overall, it is James Lodge by himself doing all of this because this is my dream. So this will have to come first. Everything else is going to come second. I'm only here for a certain amount of time. Who knows all I have left. So I'm going to do what I can and leave my mark, I guess, is what I'm going to do. So that's what I was thinking about that. Just think about all those sort of things. because it, it ties into the social media and and life and all of that in the same point, I guess. GLJ this morning is on Facebook and Twitter. Talk to you guys later. Have a good day.